All right, to me, that's 11 o'clock. Welcome, everybody. Today's webinar, uh, we're going to cover automated coaching of your agents. Specifically, we're going to show some easy aspects of Touchpoint and Snapshot that you can implement. I know for a fact we're going to be pushing the 15-minute mark, so let's get started. This is me. My name is Jason Galiner, and I'm the Education Manager for Inch House Interactive. We're going to record this, and you're going to get a link afterwards. We do have some upcoming courses. There is a CC Administration Foundation course in Boston next month. We would love to have you. And our next 15-minute webinar in this series is going to happen two weeks from now, and it's going to be on callback. It's one of my favorite topics to teach about. I think you're going to really enjoy it. And let's talk about coaching. There is just no doubt that there are varying levels of coaching within contact centers. You might use a, a very formalized coaching methodology. Uh, you might use an informal kind of ad hoc process, or you might use no coaching strategy at all. And your topics that you choose to focus on, well, those may vary as well. You might focus on you know, basic call handling fundamentals. You might gradually build up to more complex topics like customer service, customer retention, even revenue generation. But studies show that sites that spend more hours per month coaching their agents, they report above or significantly above goal for revenue, customer satisfaction, productivity, quality, and not to mention lower attrition. So coaching is important. One thing I'd keep in mind though, more coaching doesn't necessarily equate to better coaching. The basic idea though is that a company that's mindful about their coaching is probably going to have a better result than a company who isn't. Now, I happen to think that your contact center goals should probably highly influence your coaching topics. If your goals include any of these topics that you, you see here on the screen, well, you should probably be working with your agents on what effect they have on helping or hurting your costs. Now, believe me, I understand that the everyday complexities of life can get in the way of coaching. I think the most common obstacle to coaching is just a simple lack of time either for the supervisor or for the agent. I'd also suggest that this is probably a lack of proper priorities rather than time. But that's a conversation for a much longer webinar than this one. Coaching is very reactive. We look to the past rather than the future. I think this one's important. Many sites lack the metrics for gauging coaching effectiveness. You're basically throwing darts at what might improve your business rather than using empirical data. I, I can't stress enough the need for you to learn how to run our reports and to run them often. Uh, you know, another obstacle would include lack of tools at least the lack of tools used for coaching. I'm going to show you a few simple tools that you can use in just a couple minutes. Now, this webinar series, it focuses on the fundamentals of contact center management. And while I didn't want to ignore the larger coaching concept, I'm going to focus on some of the easier metrics or concepts that you can coach your agents on. Think of this as the, the, the low-hanging fruit that you can grab immediately. And the topics include shorter talk times, more efficient handle times, adherence to schedule, conversion rate, and we'll probably even talk a little bit about how to generate more competition within your agents. So how can you use Touchpoint to help you with kind of these easier topics? Well, the Cues tab in Touchpoint is helpful because it gives agents visibility into when your cues are busy and when they aren't. It isn't rocket science to see when a queue is impacted, but sometimes agents forget their priorities. I would seriously consider coaching your agents to look at the call volume happening at that time before you have them do any other like non-related or non-call related work like paperwork, data entry, photocopies, that sort of work. Now, one of the cooler features of Touchpoint is your ability to set what are called custom thresholds within a queue. One of these thresholds being the number of agents, uh, I'm sorry, number of available agents. This will put the queue in alert if the number of agents in that queue goes below a certain number that you set. Now, while these settings are only for the person who set them, there's no reason that your agents can't set these for themselves. 
So you could tell your agents, you know, try not to take your break if the number of agents in our main queue was less than five. And this setting makes it easy for them to tell when that's the case. And check out this custom threshold for service level. If you have agents complete tasks other than taking phone calls like paperwork, data entry, etc., you can coach them not to work on those things when your service level is in the toilet. Now, granted, I picked a screenshot with a 0% service level. It was the best screenshot I could grab at the time. Now, here are the steps for setting thresholds. One, uh, you hover over the queue that you want to configure. So hover over the queue name. And two, you select set thresholds. Once you do that, step three is just setting which thresholds are important to you. Notice which options are available. You've got average handle time in that particular queue, longest call wait time in that queue, number of agents, number of calls, and your service level. All of these alert when the number goes higher than what you've chosen, except for the number of agents and the service level. Those alert when they go below the number that you've chosen. Now the Agents tab and Touchpoint is helpful when you need to see who's available and who isn't. You as a manager or a supervisor can see it by default, but you can uh, you can also enable this for agent use as well. It's just a simple security setting within Administrator. But why is that helpful? Well, the, the Agents tab allows you to set custom thresholds just like the Queues tab does. If you have agents with long talk times, you can set touchpoint to alert you whenever an agent's talk time goes above a certain threshold. Yeah, note that you can set the thresholds for all of your agents at the same time if you choose to. But besides talk time, other agent-related thresholds that you can set include average talk time and average handle time. It's those three set right here. Now, more importantly, you can tell your agents to set this for themselves. If you've coached an agent on how to bring their talk times down, have them set their own threshold to the time that you're aiming for, thus giving them like immediate feedback when their calls go long. So how do agents set this for themselves? Well, step one is to make sure that they have the agents tab visible to them. Remember, it's just a, it, it's an administrator, it's under security, you can turn on the agents tab for any of your staff. But step two, they simply hover over their own name and then they click on set thresholds over on the right. At that point, they'll see this window. They can set the thresholds to whatever you've asked them to. It's basically the exact same steps you would use to set thresholds for individual agents that you want to keep tabs on. Easy. If you want to set some of these thresholds for all of your agents, like average handle time, as you see here, you can hover over the column header and select set thresholds. You can set these uh, agent-wide or department-wide thresholds for the same three metrics that we discussed in the last slide. Now, Snapshot can pay big dividends as well, maybe even bigger than Touchpoint. It, it's just a flat-out cool app. You get to see real-time statistical information about your contact center. And because it's, it's so easily customizable, you get to choose what information is important to you. You don't have to show what you don't care about. At this example, it's actually one of the more outrageous snapshot templates that I've ever seen. I happen to love it. But I also recognize that it is probably too busy. But here's another example of a snapshot template that I like for other reasons. First, They've put an important reminder at the top of the page just to remind agents how to enter data into their CRM. Maybe it was an issue for them recently. Second, they've used the bottom of the page to internally market their competition for the week. My suggestion for them probably would have been to include another snapshot page that shows the success of each agent so they can even bump up that competition a little higher. Which brings me to my next point. You aren't limited to communication center tiles. You can add tiles to a snapshot template from any ODBC compliant database, which is pretty much any of them, but it means that you can add data from other software that isn't related to ours. So take a look at this example. If average handle time is important to you, you might coach your agents on what has proved optimal to your business. Let's say that over three minutes and under five minutes has proved to be the, the sweet spot for saving customers and upselling products. 
anything shorter than three or longer than five is just detrimental to the business. So start by including the average handle time in your snapshot template. This entire column that you see here is from our CC software. But then you want to include tiles from your CRM or your ticketing software to show how important the relationship is between saves, sales, and average handle time. Notice how this data has nothing to do with our software. It all comes from your databases. And now it's just easy to spot good or bad behavior, and you can associate that with your business or your agent success. Again, I would look at what is important to your business and then start adding tiles that help coach your agents to new or more productive behaviors without direct from you, a supervisor or a manager. And before we finish up, I would be remiss if I didn't mention like the the granddaddy of our coaching tools. That's our real-time speech analytics module. This is just, it's well, it's awesome. It will walk your agents through their conversations while the phone call is happening, making sure your agents speak about what is important to your business. Have they asked for updated credit card information? Have they upsold your newest product? Have they quoted the correct price and contract length? Notice in this screenshot, they've actually misspoke about how long that count, that contract was, and this software will tell them, hey, you gotta fix that. It'll also look at things like, are your agents speaking too quickly? Are they yelling at customers? Are they cross-talking over the customer? Real-time speech analytics can handle all of that and more, and it's live while the call is taking place. It's just cool. That basically brings us to the end of the webinar. We're doing good on time. We've spoken about a few things that may need licensing or enrollment. So if you are interested in any of those things, if you can fill out this poll, that would be great. We'll give you just a few seconds to fill that out. But a lot of what I've shown is in the, the more updated versions of Touchpoint. So you might need version 9.1 of Touchpoint to get some of these thresholds. There are also some cool filtering features that are in 9.1 that we might speak about in a future webinar. You, we've shown Snapshot. Uh, which you might need to add. We've talked about real-time analytics and administration training also. Let's see, just a couple upcoming courses. Remember, we've got that course in Boston next month. We've got the webinar later two weeks from now on callback. It's going to be cool. Uh, looking forward to that. And, oh, a little bit of housekeeping. If you want to watch any of our previously recorded webinars, you can visit the UR. Well, it's uh, info.inchhouseinteractive.com slash cc fundamentals info.inchhouseinteractive.com slash cc fundamentals and that is it cool we got done in basically 15 minutes teresa why don't you hit me up with what, what questions you've got can real-time speech analytics send the alarm if a word is said that shouldn't be <laughs> it can yeah it uh, for us you know the the company that i originally worked for was zcom and then we got bought out by inch house interactive about four four and a half years ago and let's say that our support team has been around for a while and they're like oh yeah thank you for calling inch house or i'm sorry no thank you for calling zcom yeah real-time speech analysts can catch that and say up oh, no, you said that wrong you might want to go back and 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 revisit that part of the conversation and they say oh yeah sorry that's our old company yes well, i meant to say thank you for calling inch house and it can coach them through that process so you bet it can look for phrases it can look for words uh, it turns out that the longer the phrase, the easier it is to catch, but certainly it can. Also, you know, one of the cool things about it, uh, you can do it in real time. If you have our QMS and you do recording of your calls, you can also batch process calls. So you could take all of the calls from the last month that discussed a certain contract that you had or a certain sale that you were promoting, and you could go through all of those calls looking for improper speech, something that we told people that we really shouldn't, and it can go through each of them and find you those calls that, uh, well, you said wrong. Awesome. Thanks again, everybody. Have a wonderful day. Take care. We'll see you in two weeks.